Hi there, everybody. You're traveling with me, Jack, and as always, of course, my beautiful heavenly wife, Pam. And welcome to beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. We're right now about, oh, five, ten minutes outside the downtown area in a beautiful neighborhood in West Nashville. Tree-lined streets, lots of beautiful homes here. On the surface, all appears to be well. However, if you're looking to come to this part of the world, be sure and have a really thick wallet. Let's take a look around and I'll show you what I'm talking about that's happening all across Music City. As we make our way around this beautiful tree-lined neighborhood, you can no doubt see what makes this area so attractive. Many of these homes were built probably back in the 40s and 50s and are still maintained extremely well. However, as you make your way down the street, you then see this, this monster mega house. It's actually two houses. And homeowners around here have not been very happy about this. The price point on this, well over a million dollars. But it's not just here that this is happening. Go down the street a little bit further, and we met up with a young lady named Maddie to talk about what she's seeing on her end of the street. This is Maddie. Maddie, tell us a little bit about what's going on around you. It looks like you are surrounded by construction. Absolutely. Yeah, so when I first moved in, uh, there were two houses on either side of me. And since I moved in, there's been a house built across the street. And both of the houses on either side of my house have been demolished. And so they're actively working on constructing this house here. And actually yesterday, they just put in the electrical unit uh, to start building this house. And I feel like I'm starting to understand the process of construction because I've seen it so much. And there's another house that's about to go up across the street as well. So we're surrounded. And could you ever afford any of these houses? Oh, no way. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. So I'm a, I'm a master's student. I'm just trying to find any rent that would be possibly acceptable um, for my, my living wage. And it's, it's very difficult. It's incredibly difficult. Would you say that Nashville is quickly becoming unaffordable? I would absolutely agree with that. I say that all the time. Um, it's really difficult. And you know, so I'm a student at Vanderbilt and there aren't any graduate housing options yet, so there will be, but as of right now, and so we're kind of left to the wolves to figure out what to do, and I, I can't afford it. And do you fear that maybe the place you're renting here could go away? I do. I really would not be surprised if it's not here next year. As we continue our tour of this neighborhood, it's absolutely beautiful, but yours truly, and the majority of Americans will never be able to afford to live here. A quick check on even some of the recent sales here indicate we'll never get anything for under $700,000 along this street. And if you look up the road, brand new construction, this lovely home asking $1.5 million. And people say some homes here could easily go for $2 million. So where does that leave longtime residents? Well, eventually they'll give in to the pressure and sell out to the larger prices. But where will they go from here? Who knows? But well, one thing that is becoming more evident is their small homes will eventually be bulldozed and replaced with what some have called McMansions. Needless to say, I think we've got a problem. But it's not just here in Nashville. It's all across America right now. What are people going to do when it comes to finding affordable housing? Oh yeah, local governments and politicians, they talk all day long ad nauseum about creating affordable housing. But right now, it's not happening in most parts of the country. And here in the Nashville area, the gap between the, those who are the haves and the have-nots, well, it's growing, and at a mighty steep rate. Maybe you've got some ideas. Leave them in the comment columns there. We'd love to hear from you, and who knows? Maybe somebody has the golden ticket to help those who would love to have a home get a home at a reasonable price. And I know you may say, well, half a million dollars, that's reasonable. No, it's not. It's not for the average working family. We got to find a way around this. I just don't have the answer. In the meantime, hey, keep subscribing to our channel. Most of our videos, you know, are a lot of fun. This one, maybe not as much fun as usual, but something that I felt compelled to talk about. So keep subscribing. Also, I invite you to check out my podcast. That, of course, is Love Letters to Pam, the Jack Church Show. Until we see you next time, have a great day. Better yet, make it a better tomorrow. And bye now from beautiful West Nashville.